SpaceX versus Blue Origin Rivalry In terms of space research and development, Blue Origin and SpaceX embrace the same goals and aspirations. These companies, which are owned by two of the world's wealthiest people, have identical intentions to lead the way in the new age of space exploration. It's no secret that Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk aren't the greatest of friends. On social media, their hatred for each other is obvious. But the previous few months have been particularly chaotic, with billionaires freely exchanging barbs, lawsuits, and other nonsense. Elon Musk has stated that he is intentionally aiming to annoy Jeff Bezos in order for Blue Origin to make greater progress. It's the latest episode in a 15-year battle between the two richest men on the planet. For a long time, the rivalry between Blue Origin and SpaceX has dominated the headlines. Whether it's on social media platforms, patents, or space services, Blue Origin and SpaceX aren't going to stop fighting each other at every turn. And while these two have been competing for nearly 15 years to transport people to the edge of space, how did this rivalry begin, and what actually happened? What role does NASA have in all of this? Let's get this party started. The first meeting between Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Blue Origin, founded by Jeff Bezos in 2000, and SpaceX, founded in 2002, both had the same fundamental goals of commercial space exploration. The first time the two met in 2004 was to discuss their space goals. But at least according to Musk, the hostility was present from the first encounter. At the time, their space firms were barely getting started. Bezos has a lot of money thanks to Amazon. Bezos is so keen that he actually stepped down as CEO of Amazon in 2020 to focus on Blue Origin. Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with funds raised from the sale of his website x.com to PayPal, which was then sold to eBay. Jeff Bezos is the world's second richest man and the founder of Amazon and Blue Origin, an aerospace corporation with the stated goal of flying people to the moon. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, among other firms, is the world's richest man, with a net worth of more than $300 billion. To grasp the rivalry, we must go back to 2004, when Musk and Bezos had dinner together. According to author Christian Davenport in his book, The Space Barons, Musk described their meeting. Musk said that Bezos was barking up the wrong tree about rockets, and that SpaceX had already tried several of the ideas Bezos was proposing, calling them dumb. Musk said that I actually did my best to give good advice, which he largely ignored. SpaceX versus Blue Origin, the Cold War. Frankly, I think we are more likely to discover unicorns dancing in the flame duct. The real beef started in 2013 when SpaceX leased Launchpad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida for a lengthy time. This is where the Apollo lunar missions took off from. Blue Origin, displeased, filed a former objection with NASA to prohibit SpaceX from using it exclusively, arguing that it should be converted into a commercial spaceport open to all launch companies. Musk responded by saying that if Blue Origin's vehicle is launch ready, his company will accommodate them. He did, however, make a snarky remark about Blue Origin's sluggish progress, adding, frankly, I think we are more likely to discover unicorns dancing in the flame duct. The real war started in 2014. The next year, it was Blue Origin who had a difficulty with SpaceX. Blue Origin was granted a patent in 2014 by the United States Patent and Trademark Office for landing rocket boosters on drone ships. SpaceX would have had to pay to employ the technology in this case. Drone ships, according to SpaceX, have been around for decades. Blue Origin was forced to abandon most of its patent claims when a judge agreed with Musk's company. SpaceX has successfully landed 66 Falcon 9 rockets on drone ships since then. The first time was on the ship Of Course I Still Love You in April 2016, which was the first stage to successfully land on a drone ship. These are just two examples of the many, many spats that these two companies have had over the years. Others include Tesla accusing Blue Origin of poaching all their best employees. Things grew more contentious in the spring of 2020. It all started when NASA requested Blue Origin and SpaceX to submit designs for lunar landers for a mission to return humans to the moon by 2024 giving the two businesses another opportunity to compete. NASA announced in April 2021 that SpaceX will be the sole recipient of a $2.9 billion contract to put humans on the moon. Blue Origin was enraged by the decision and quickly filed a lawsuit against NASA. According to the New York Times, Blue Origin submitted a 50-page appeal with the Government Accountability Office disputing NASA's decision as flawed. NASA had planned to give the contract to two firms, but because of budget constraints and a lack of congressional financing, it was forced to pick only SpaceX. NASA's decision was unjust, according to Blue Origin, since it changed the goalposts at the last minute and discussed a potential price with SpaceX, but not with Blue Origin. 
Blue Origin launched a lawsuit against NASA in August over the $2.9 billion contract, which resulted in NASA deciding to put the project on hold for the time being. The lawsuit, filed in the United States Court of Federal Claims, challenges NASA's illegal and inappropriate review of bids for the Human Landing System program. NASA agreed to put the contract on hold until November 1st, but the court decided against Blue Origin in early November. The Battle of Satellite Internet Service Bezos's other business, Amazon, seems to have an issue with SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet service. According to SpaceX, over a thousand Starlink satellites have already been launched, supporting 90,000 clients globally. Thousands more are expected to be launched by the corporation. Amazon, on the other hand, has asked the SEC to reject SpaceX's revised plans, which include two distinct satellite configurations, stating that the adjustments should have been made before filing its application, not after. Why does Amazon care? Because it plans to launch its own satellite internet service, dubbed Project Kuiper, which led Musk to call Bezos a copycat. There's no word on when Amazon's service will start operating. SpaceX responded to Amazon's protest by calling it a continuation of efforts by the Amazon family of companies to hinder competitors to compensate for Amazon's failure to make progress of its own, and also noted that Amazon has lodged objections to SpaceX on average about every 16 days this year. Musk then tweeted, filing legal actions against SpaceX is actually Bezos' full-time job. But is this for real? All of this may make it appear as though the relationship is only getting worse, and while that is true, it isn't entirely accurate. SpaceX performed its maiden test flight of the Starship, a spaceship that's scheduled to transport humans to Mars by 2026, in December 2020, and it was a big success. It's probable that Bezos has softened his position on SpaceX. Bezos openly praised the rocket business for its ambitious endeavor after the company performed a test of its Starship spaceship in December 2020. Even Bezos hailed his accomplishment on Instagram, writing, Anybody who knows how hard this stuff is, is impressed by today's Starship test. Congratulations to the whole SpaceX crew. I'm certain they'll succeed. Musk said recently that Bezos does take himself a bit too seriously, and that he's intentionally trying to provoke the former Amazon CEO. In some ways, I'm trying to goad him into spending more time at Blue Origin so they make more progress, Musk said in an interview with the Financial Times. Musk added that while Bezos has a reasonably good engineering aptitude, he doesn't seem to be spending a lot of mental energy getting into the details. As a friend of mine says, he should spend more time at Blue Origin and less time in the hot tub, Musk said. Final words. In the end, despite their heated rivalry and competitiveness, it is obvious that they've made significant contributions to humanity's aspirations to conquer the final great frontier, space. Perhaps like in the 1960s, competition will be the catalyst that propels mankind to new heights, so that we might realize our full potential as a species and become more advanced and successful than we ever imagined. In actuality, Jeff Bezos' blue origin is still lagging behind Elon Musk's SpaceX in terms of accomplishments. SpaceX, for example, had previously created numerous ships capable of transporting payloads throughout Earth's orbit, including the Falcon 9. It's a reusable, waste-free rocket that could transport the International Space Station and other government-run space organizations back and forth. Blue Origin, on the other hand, is still working hard to catch up to SpaceX. Bezos' space firm revealed that the spaceship New Glenn, which will be launched in 2020, is now in development. However, due to a variety of factors, New Glenn's exhibition has been postponed until 2022. With delays and inconsistencies of Blue Origin, Elon Musk's SpaceX has been able to have the opportunity first at building its integrity across the space industry. On the other hand, Blue Origin's new Glenn, if ever will it still arrive on the commercial launch enterprise, has a huge chance to be a game changer. New Glenn, in terms of size, is quite massive compared to Falcon 9. To match the scale of Blue Origin's new vessel, Elon Musk's company has been conducting several developments for their very own Starship. Their tense relationship may recall the well-publicized rivalry between Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, the CEOs of the world's two largest corporations at the time, Microsoft and Apple. While many feel that rivalry drove both firms to develop continually, it remains to be seen if Bezos and Musk can push each other to new heights. That's all from this video. What do you think of this rivalry? Tell us your ideas in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to TechRumor for more thought-provoking tech videos.